Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Now many of you have asked me to play this game again on impossible difficulty um, with the use of the OSA agent, so you know, with the size skills and all of that. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. New game, impossible difficulty, Psy agent. Cool sound effect please. Thank you. Let's start. Look at you, hacker. A p p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Alrighty then. Okay, we're ready. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Thank you. Please watch your step when leaving the train. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. We're all ready. We've got the updated textures, updated models. Uh, we've got all the nice little glow, which I love so much. Um, because I like shiny things. Let us get this uh, little basketball here, so we can I can show you that little... Um, Easter egg in the game. Before you choose, we're your going career. to ignore all this. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for. Th Here's uh, where you make your choice, soldier. Maybe? Here's where you Marines? enlist in one of the three branches oh, of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service. Yes, yes, yes. We know. We know. We're going to be an OSA agent. We are going to be taking on the enemies with our minds. We will think them dead, we will sing them dead, and they will be dead. That is how we work. Hello? How are you today, sir? Why are there so many explosives here? You won. Oh, that lovely glow and the lovely textures. The OSA welcomes you to Orbital Station Chun Lo. Ready yourself to feel the limitations of your mind slipping away. We will guide your path over the next four years. The shuttle base at the center of the station will ferry you to your next stage of growth. When you've chosen, head into the appropriate shuttle bay. Right. Get ready to learn things you've never imagined. Oh, shiny. I'm sorry, I can't get my uh, eyes off these shiny things. It's so lovely. Look at it. 
I love glow. All right, mission selection. All right. The sensory deprivation tanks Ooh. aboard the TOS Chulun are modulated for your training. You shall spend a year in contemplation of mass, both yours and that of objects, until you can bend them to your intentions. Wait, a year in a sensory deprivation tank? Are you crazy? A year? The sensory uh -huh. deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Runang await you. A year in meditation on the nature of matter will grant you power over it. Now, now the only problem is, I've played this game a lot, but never really much with a Psy guy. So, uh, you know, I know what cryokinesis is, I know tier 2 Psy abilities, but that kinetic redirection, is that like, like a shield from bullets or something? I can't quite remember. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Shaoling await you. There you will spend a solitary year focused in a meditation on motion and sound, and how they may serve your will. Oh my god. Okay, I think this one is best. The Psycho sensory deprivation screen. tanks aboard the TOS Chulun are know, modulated actually. for your training. Let's get cyber The affinity. sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Shaolin. Yeah! Let's go! I paid for my ticket, so let's go. Oh my god, a year in a sensory deprivation tank? That sounds horrible. Your year in the tanks of the Shaoling is finished. Your will has grown. Your mind can freeze your foes in their tracks and you can attune your mind to their inner workings of machines. Second tier disciplines are within your grasp. You may now take your skills into the field to pit them against our enemies. You've mastered level 2 Psy disciplines, cryokinesis and psychogenic cyber affinity. I think this needs to be activated and then you can hack better and get stuff for less and so on. Year two. I don't know why he always jumps here. It's like, yay, year two, let's go. Whoa, that's a cool glow. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. Your body has been neglected in your training of your mm -hmm. mind. On IO, you will find soldiers who wish to test their endurance. You will surpass their physical prowess without compromising your mental discipline. All right, endurance is fine. Dr. Chandris Villan's uh. research labs have produced many of this decade's advances in psionic technique. You shall spend a year serving his genius, learning to understand his insights and whims. Plus one research that's fairly pathetic. I mean, you do need 25, I think, modules to get the first level of any skill anyway, but only plus one is a little pathetic. Sifting the thoughts of treachery and disloyalty from the morass of emotion and internal conflict that fill most mundanes can be disquieting. You shall spend a year building the general strength of your mind, while learning how to probe the thoughts of the less capable without losing yourself. I think the psionic ability makes your psi points go up and stuff like that. I'm not completely sure. I mean, endurance would be nice, but I think I'll go Sifting for this. Sifting the thoughts of treachery and disloyalty from the morass... Oh yeah, that's me over there, not, not here, this woman, but over there in the shuttle. Your time of service at the OSA Central Corps has reached its end. Your year was mostly peaceful, with one major exception. The hired assassin tried to disguise her intentions under a layer of quite explicit daydreams, but you were not deceived. Near the end, you felt the presence of her fading thoughts enter your own mind and then vanish like charring mist. Oh, explicit daydreams, huh? Can can we get a preview of that? All right, never mind. All right, where's the Macarena? Come on then. There we go. Oh yeah, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Hi. <laughs> All right. Many wow. threats to security can only be defeated from inside. Your mind shall be carefully blanked and conditioned with the nature and past of a criminal. Join with the criminal and rebellious, endure their squalor and chaos, and then, when it is time, liquidate them from within. Wow. Okay. That's, uh, wow. But that's, I guess, what OSA agents do. They can, you know, train their mind so much they can completely go into character without much problems. In the grand scheme, individuals are no more important than pieces on a game board. Occasionally, it becomes necessary to remove a piece, without disturbing the flow of the game. 
These removals will be done in silence and with complete secrecy. You shall spend a year learning these skills. I think the OSA agent is the creepiest, to be honest. I mean, look, it's really these black ops thing. Acts of political terrorism and corporate coercion disturb corporate and political stability. You shall spend a year battling these chaotic elements, both psionically and by physical force. Alright, let's see. One strength, one agility. I think that's all. They, they all give that, but that's cyber affinity. In the cyber grand... Oh! Many threats to security can oh, only be... In the grand... Psychogenic Acts of political agility. terrorism no. and corporate... In the grand scheme, individual. I think remote electron tampering is okay. Can only be defeated from inside. I think that's Your for hacking. Maybe. I don't know. Not completely sure. Hey, you're drifting, man. You're drifting. Go home, you're drunk. There we go. Your time of service at the OSA field base has reached its end. Even now your mind is somewhat clouded and you do not recall all the details. You played your part well for most of a year, and your enemies called you friend until you fell upon them with all your talents. Well, that's kinda crappy, but yeah, they were criminals! <coughs> Transmission, subcipher, protocol, tango. Order, reassign. From Captain Williams, Bedford Diego, UNN Rickenbacker, to Soldier. Assignment to the Von Braun Escort Mission. Soldier, your application to join the crew of the Rickenbacker has been approved. Report to Shuttle Mayfair at Port Francisco at 0400 on blah blah blah. Get ready to become part of history, Soldier. WBD. Five months later, UNN Von Braun near Tau Ceti 5, 67 trillion miles from Earth. No, no worms, stay away! Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. I don't think I volunteered for this. No. No, no, no. He kind of looks like Adam Jensen now that I think about it, but... Oh well. Hello? Oh, there we go. I thought the game was going to poop itself. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. That is my boss. It's become control. unstable, dude. Move! Take cover! I am in cover! Yeah, I'm a police Whoa! That's loud. We also have this, of course. And we have uh, different stuff, for example. Let's see, psionics. Psionic ability determines your. Yes, this is good that I took this, psionics. Um, alright, let's see. Psy, what do we have? Uh, we have increases your cyber affinity, that's pretty good. Makes active alarms time out faster, that's pretty good as well, you can, you know, quickly end them. Uh, this is okay, cryokinesis, because you can attack with it. Uh, oh, I already have tier 2, but none of it, 
none of it um, bought yet. Okay, that's that's fine. Now, if you remember, I I just you know didn't use Psy hypos at all in my previous playthrough, but here they're going to be actually. The entire sector is depressurizing. And the low vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it. I'm going. Great. I've got to change the access codes out of cryo A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 45100. That should be easy enough to remember. Damn it! Come here! Bloody hell. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. Another wrench. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Alrighty. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. Thank you. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. I love this glow. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I just love it. It looks so pretty. All right. More cyber modules. Awesome. Hello there. Hey, Doc. A security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? Hack skill one requ I don't have hack, hack skill one? Really? Uh, wait. Psy, uh, well, this won't help me, unfortunately. I do have... Cyber affinity though, but I still need need the hack skill. That is not good. We need the hack skill. Whoops. 17! What? I don't even have that much. I have zero in everything. Oh my god. Wow. I don't got that much here. Yeah, it's much more expensive now here, I think. Do we have any Psycho Reflect? Protects you from 15% of all combat damage. That's not that bad, actually. Uh, eliminates all weapon kickback. Nah. Pulls an object. Nah. Increases your agility. Nah. Well, this discipline is that your ranged weapons cannot break and their condition will not degrade. That's actually pretty cool. Shields you from 80% of radiation damage. That is excellent because we don't need to lug around all that, you know, that big uh, um, hazard suit. Increases hand-to-hand -hand damage. Meh. Oh well. Regenerates lost hit points. Excellent. Don't need hypos. Increases your strength. Meh. Localized pyrokinesis is pretty dang cool. Uh, increases your psionics by two. It's not bad, but... Yeah. I need hacking. Jeez. Goddamn zero. Oh my god, this is gonna be horrible. Oh. We'll see how that goes. I mean... I don't even have level 1 hacking. Are you serious? How the hell did that happen? Psy hypo, there we go. Damn. What the hell happened here? Bloody hell. I mean, I would like to hack at least that, those doors down there, but bloody hell. We've got oh, <gasps> well that was stupid. We've got stuff over there, but I don't really have that skill to pull stuff towards me. Kinetic redirection. Oh well. Oh wait. This is bad. This is bad. I just I guess I'll have to come back here and do it. Okay, I've been here, right, so I can just, you know, go over here. Hello, ghost. Can somebody let me out? I can't 
found my card. Please, let me out of here. I shall let you out of here. Do not worry. Now this is kind of annoying. Cryokinesis. Let me show you how this works. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. <laughs> There's another one coming. Come on then. Rescanning. Rescanning. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I can kill you with my brain. Yeah. How many cyber modules do I have? Twelve. That's not enough. God damn it. Hex skill two required. That's like ages away. Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, we mustn't drink liquor though because that decreases our psi points. Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system oh are clearly God. immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> oh crap! I'm already dead! Oh shit, he killed me with one go! Oh crap! <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> Where's the autosave? <laughs> oh crap! Watch oh out. crap! I'm getting strange readings from that radar okay. dish outside um, the window. It's become unstable, dude. Move! <laughs> Take cover! Okay, I, I won't trouble you. I mean, I, I won't bug you with having to watch this again. The entire sector Shut is up. depressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last long. Jeez. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! So, um, I'm really sorry. That was Warning. that was ridiculous. But my endurance Please is very low. This is really low. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade yes. units in this area. There are four types of units in yes, the next room. Yes, yes. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, <sighs> and tech. Shut up! But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Okay, so... Thank you for watching. This was hilarious. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it anyway. We're going to have to be so careful and we're probably going to be dying so many times in this game. It's going to be quite amusing probably and frustrating. I will see you in the next part. Bye-bye.